Uh, good day to our lecturer, Ms. Nosia. Today we are going to present on describing the current practice of information technology in logistics and supply chain operation and indicate the functions and benefit of the tools. So uh, below is uh, the list of our group member. Okay, first uh, we'll look at the first information technology, which is a barcode system. Uh, a barcode is an image that consists of a series of parallel black and white bars that can be read by a barcode scanner. Barcodes are applied to products to quickly, quickly ident identify them. Among their many uses, barcodes are typically used in retail store as a part of the purchasing process, in warehouses to track and manage inventory and on invoices to help with accounting. Uh, barcode is a way to encode information into a visual pattern that a machine uh, usually means a barcode scanner can read. The combination of black and white bar represent varying text character that follow a pre-entablished algorithm for that barcode. A barcode scanner will read this pattern of black and white bars and translate them into a line of text that can be understood by the sales system. So a barcode system means the combination of a hardware, which is a barcode system, and a software, which is the sales system. Uh, next, we'll be looking at we will be looking at the benefit of using a barcode system. The first benefit is improved accuracy. Using a barcode to process a product's data is much more accurate than having a sales associate manually key in that data, which is prone to human error. The next benefit is real-time data. Because of the speed at which the information is processed, data about inventory level or sales is available immediately. Uh, the next benefit is reduced training requirement. Since a barcode scanner is easy to be used, employees don't need much training on how to use one. Uh, using a barcode system can also achieve better inventory management. With improved accuracy and real-time data, retailers benefit from faster cycle counts and more accurate inventory turnover estimation. The last benefit of a barcode system is low cost of implementation. Generating barcode is quick and simple, plus the potential saving thanks to improved transaction speed, as well as the improved accuracy of inventory and sales data. Retailers can anticipate saving post-implementation. Uh, next, I'll pass to the next presenter. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the radio frequency identification, which is RFID. RFID is a technology works on radio frequency and it used for auto identification and it comprises of one or more tag called radio frequency tags and also a semiconductor chips and antenna and also a reader device. There are two types of RFID tags which are active and passive. Active RFID tag is uh, it needs a power source to transmit the wave and the passive one is no need for no need the power sources in the tag but it, the power sources is from the reader. Uh, ne next slide, please. Thanks. And how does RFID work? The data is stored in the text in code form and the communication process is through the reader and the wave. The antenna is used to transmit the radio signal and the radio frequency is used to recognize the object automatically. The reader can automatically read the information of the object that's stored in the passive text and uh, in the certain distance without direct contact. Uh, next slide. Uh, here is the benefit of the RFID. RFID can improve the ability of the manufacturer to having a better invent control inventory level. And it also provides a track and trace which the warehouse manager can use the RFID technology to track the location of the item. 
it will ensure the inventory level of the organization and it would help to prevent the thief. Beside, it will have a better and more visible of the movement, movement of the goods within the supply chain and help the company become more competitive. And now is the end of my session. I will pass to the next presenter. Thanks. Okay, I'm Kai Fong. I will talk about the EDI system. The full form of EDI system is electronic data interchange. It's a process that allows one company to send information to another company electronically rather than with paper. So how it working? As you can see, there are two figures given. The first line is about the order process without EDI, and the second line is about the order process with EDI. The process without EDI is the traditional transaction in the old days, which is the customer send their purchase order to supplier or seller by mail or fax, and the supplier receive it and accept it. They will send back the invoice to the customer. But the business with EDI can replace this complex transaction process. EDI allows the business documents such as the purchase orders, invoice, custom information to convert or transfer to data and this data upload to internet, then through the internet send back to the send to the another company. Okay, next slide. And what is the business that most using EDI system? It is e-commerce, for example, Shopee, Lazada, Taobao, and so on. Uh, what is the benefit? First, using EDI system is able to speed out the business cycle. Uh, EDI system allow the e-commerce sector a deal within a few minutes instead of the traditional transaction need a few days or few weeks waiting for the purchase order and invoice arrive. Next, second benefit is EDI is able to improve the data quality, which means that it prevent the error from handwriting, rekey in and lost mail issue and so on. And the last benefit is that EDI is allowed to lower the transaction cost. It relates to the paperless. It can reduce the spending of paper. In more detail, the parties no, no need to print, copy, storage, or filing the transaction document so that it will indirectly reduce the use of paper. Okay, this is for all my part, and now I will pass to my friend Locked In. Good day, Miss. I wish you have a good day. Now I'm going to explain what is ERP system. ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning and it, it is a software and system used to plan and manage all the core supply chain, manufacturing services, uh, financials and other processes of an organization. Okay, ERP Software can be used to automate and simplify individual activities across a business, such as accounting and procurement, project management, uh, customers relationship management, risk management, compliance, and sub, uh, supply chain operation. In general, <coughs> ERP use a centralized database for various business process <coughs> to reduce manual labor and to simplify <coughs> simply uh, to simplify existing business workflows erp systems typically uh, contain dashboards where user can look at real time data collect from all across the business to measure productivities and profitability without erp software data is uh, siloed by department and can be difficult to access across a company. By using an ERP, data from multiple departments can be easily shared and visualized across an organization. This wealth of information and simplification can exist in the development of business goals and reduce 
<coughs> the amount of time that employee spend on tasks that could be automated. Next slide. How does an ERP system works? ERP system typically uh, cover all aspects of business operations and commonly provide an integrated system, common database, a real-time operation, support for all application, common user interface across application. ERP software has the ability to collect and compare metrics across departments and provide a numbers of different reports based on roles and specific user preference. Next, the data collected makes finding and reporting and give a complete view of business performance with complete insights on how resources are being spent. ERP synchronized reporting uh, automation by reducing the needs of maintain separate database and Great. sheet that would have to manually merge to generate report. This combined data collection and reporting offer valuable insights such as where to cut costs and streamline processes, providing the information to make real-time business decision. Next slide. What industry can uh, ERP be used for? So there are many uh, industries are using ERP system, which is uh, manufacturing, industrial machinery and components, uh, constructions and home improvement, electronic and technology, automotive, aerospace and defense, healthcare and pharmaceutical and life science, agribusiness, farming and agriculture, food and beverage, uh, hospitality, clothing, consumer goods and retail. Next slide. So what is the benefit of ERP system? The first, cost saving and improve ROI efficiency. It allows manufacturers to proactively manage operations, prevent disruption and delay. Next, accurate forecasting. ERP helps software users and business as a whole properly plan what they need from inventory and sales all the way down to financials to customer service. Third is manage regulator compliance. ERP system designed to keep track of regulations within the industrial and monitor change in compliance. It allowed user and businesses at large to stay abreast with law, regulations, guidance and specification as it relates to business process. Fourth is enhanced collaboration. It breaks down communication barriers for efficient collaboration and coordination to improve job efficiency. Last but not least is data reliability. ERP provides reliable data that can be accessed from different locations and through multiple devices, include tablets and smartphones. With the ability to update in real time, ERP improves data accuracy and consistency. Yeah, that's all my part. Now I'm going to pass to my friend, Brian. Okay, uh, thank you, Loktin. Today I'm going to talk about the supply chain management system, which is SCM. Supply chain management system is an inter-organizational system that mainly enable companies to efficiently handle the flow of goods from suppliers to customers. There are two basic types of SCM system software which is the supply chain planning software and also the supply chain execution software. The supply chain planning software uses the mathematical models to predict inventory levels based on the efficient flow of resources into the supply chain. And supply chain execution software is used to automate different steps in the supply chain, such as automatically sending purchase orders to vendors when inventories reach specified levels. So next, we'll talk about 
three functions of supply chain management system. Uh, next slide. Uh, so the first function is to al aligning flows. As money, materials, and information are passed between customers and suppliers, supply chain management keeps them flowing up and down a uh, supply chain. And next is integrating functions. Supply chain management system connects the activities of logistics, purchasing, and also operations to ensure that they focus on goals that benefit overall performance. And the third function is to managing resources. The supply chain managers are responsible for using people, processes, and also technology to meet the demand and needs of customers. And next, we'll talk about the benefits of SCM. Next slide. Yeah. Uh, the first benefits of SCM is to reduce cost effects. Supply chain management software can lower down the current overhead expenses of an organization. For example, to improve the inventory management system or to facilitate successful implementation of inventory system. And the second one is to raise the output. Supply chain management system is designed to improve communication, collaboration and coordination with vendors and shipping companies, suppliers and raise by directional information flow. The streamlined and centralized distribution strategy of supply chain management software make it more reliable for end users and give more accurate output results. The third benefit is to raise the business profit level. The welcome behavior towards new innovative technologies flourishes new way of success for the organization and higher visibility and improved collaboration feature ultimately because of the cost of raising the organizational output. The fourth benefit is to boost cooperation level. Supply chain management will link up all the business software system at a remote location, and that will automatically improve collaboration in all partners. Supply chain management system gives the opportunity to share information. Share information platform keeps stakeholder informed, so the whole process of supply chain management will run smoothly. And the last benefit of SCM is to lower the time delay in processes. Common issues like late shipments from vendors, holdups on production lines and logistical errors in distribution channels are, can negatively impact a, a company's ability to gratify customers' demand of, for products. So supply chain management software can, can flawlessly coordinated and executed from start to finish to make sure much higher levels of on-time delivery across the board. That's all we wanted to share for today. Thank you, Miss.